Hey Canaanites, welcome back, and boy is it good to be back. After a nice, long weekend in Seattle, it's nice to sit down again and get back to making some Halo vids. Pretty much a week ago today, right before PAX, Grimm released the latest edition of Cannon Fodder, a standalone article that focused on the recently announced M12S Warthog CSD that's making its way into Forza Horizon 3. Releasing so close to PAX, I obviously didn't have time to sit down and read the article and make anything of it, but now that I'm back, let's take a look. Though, before that, I'll say right now, I know next to nothing on vehicles or motorsports, so yeah. Anyway, cannon fodder. So, we have some technical specs for the new Warthog variant and a look at its design. The 2554 AMG Transport Dynamics M12S Warthog CST is a civilian model likened to a road-legal war mount. 25% smaller and 33% lighter than its military counterpart, the CST sacrifices the four-wheel steering and thus low-speed maneuverability for high-speed handling and performance. It also has what I'm told is an impressive 7 centimeters of suspension. Like I said, I know very little about cars. However, in addition to statements, we get actual statistics. Vehicle layout, front engine, all-wheel drive, two-seater. Type, twin turbo 8L V8. Power 720 BHP at 6500 RPM. Torque 855 feet per pound at 3200 RPM, top speed 190 miles per hour, limited by gearing, 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, 0 to 100 in 9.81 seconds, 1 quarter mile, 12.4 seconds at 109.4 miles per hour. Again, I'm no car expert, but I understand enough to know that those are some pretty nice stats. The article continues with an interview with Chris Phillips of Playground Games. The interview goes into the process of how the Forza team came up with the stats for the Warthog and how that differed from their process with real-world vehicles and cars. What I personally found interesting was the reasoning behind the decisions to include the Warthog. While the Forza series boasts a number of impressive speed demons, some vehicles, much like the Warthog, are in there for everyone's inner child, because they're just fun to drive. I've never been big on car games outside of arcades, but I may pick up Forza Horizon 3 just to give the Warthog a try. Hell, depending on what the game is capable of, I may just do a game night stream with people as we just race Warthogs. Who knows, we'll see. And while we're here, the Warthog will be a free download to anyone who's played either Halo 5 or the MCC, so that's pretty wizard. Following that, Grimm sat down with Frank O'Connor, Kiki Wolfkill, James Pachisi, Kevin Paul, and Landon Williams of 343 to discuss their history with cars and motorsports. It's a good interview, especially if you're into that sort of thing, so be sure to check out the full article if you want the details. The article itself comes to a close with what was, for me, the highlight of it all, a look at some of the cars that have appeared in the Halo games throughout the years. Some have been known, others are images and names coming together for the first time. First up is the MLX, which first appeared in Halo 2. The MLX is a luxury sports car with a highly modifiable chassis and two independent suspension axles. The car has developed a cult following in its nearly 40-year lifespan, with factory-supported motorsports teams regularly standing atop the podiums of 26th century racing series. It's also highly sought after by hot rodders. The MLX also appeared in the short story Dirt from Halo Evolutions. Felicia Sanderson, one of the story's main characters and, fun fact, one of Halo's first openly homosexual characters, went joyriding in a stolen MLX. Her father forced her to enlist in the colonial military afterwards as punishment. Next up is the Uber chassis, also from Halo 2, and widely held as the standard bearer for luxury sports vehicles. The car routinely employs exotic drivetrain configuration and propulsion in order to stay on the cutting edge of transportation science. After that we have the Husiv Jeanette, known best to fans as the car model used by the new Mabasa police force. The Jeanette is a high volume coupe with several model trims from Eco Accessible to Track Ready. Next is the Cabar Dumax, a van seen in Halo 5. The van has earned favor from a variety of clientele, so it can be seen anywhere from corporate fleet lots to down by the river. Finally, we have the Husiv Fosa, an SUV that provides cheap and reliable ground transport in urban areas. This can be seen on the Halo 5 map, Plaza. And that does it for this article. It was great to see a standalone cannon fodder article, and I always love seeing behind the scenes stuff. How about you all? What was your favorite section from last week? Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. 
It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.